So what is Silicon Valley Bank and why does it matter? Well, SVB was one of the largest and most influential banks in the US, especially for the tech industry. It was founded in 1983 and specialized in providing loans, banking services, and venture capital to startups and innovators. It had over $100 billion in assets and served more than 30,000 clients across various sectors such as software, biotech, fintech, e-commerce, and more. But recently, SVB faced a series of challenges that led to its downfall. In this video, I'm going to explain the timeline of events that caused SVB's collapse and what it means for the tech ecosystem. The bank's troubles began in December 2022, when a New York banker at a large financial institution started getting calls from startup founders asking to open accounts. The banker realized that SVB was losing customers due to its exposure to risky loans and investments. SVB had lent billions of dollars to unprofitable or fraudulent companies such as Theranos, WeWork, Quibi, Nikola Motors, and others. It also invested heavily in speculative assets such as cryptocurrencies, SPACs, special purpose acquisition companies, NFTs, non-fungible tokens, and meme stocks. In January 2023, SVB reported a $4.5 billion loss for the fourth quarter of 2022, mainly due to write-downs on its loan portfolio and securities holdings. The bank also announced that it was under investigation by the Securities and Exchange Commission SEC, for possible accounting fraud and insider trading. The SEC accused SVB of inflating its revenues and hiding its losses by using complex financial instruments and off-balance sheet entities. It also alleged that some SVB executives sold their shares before disclosing the bad news to the public. In February 2023, SVB failed to raise $10 billion in new capital from private investors, as potential buyers were deterred by the bank's deteriorating financial condition and legal troubles. The bank also faced lawsuits from shareholders, creditors and customers who accused it of mismanagement and breach of fiduciary duty. Some plaintiffs claimed that SVB misled them about the risks involved in their transactions or failed to honor their contracts. On March 9, 2023, SVB disclosed that it had received a cease and desist order from the Federal Reserve for violating capital adequacy and liquidity requirements. The bank said it was working with regulators to find a solution but warned that it might not be able to continue as a going concern. The Fed ordered SVB to stop making new loans or investments until it improved its financial position. On March 10, 2023, SVB's stock price plunged by more than 80%, triggering a massive bank run as depositors rushed to withdraw their money. The bank's ATM network crashed and its online banking system was overwhelmed by high demand. Some customers reported that their accounts were frozen or inaccessible. Others complained that they could not transfer their funds or pay their bills. On March 11, 2023, SVB collapsed after failing to secure emergency funding from the government or other banks. The California Department of Financial Institutions closed down the bank and put it under the control of the EFTIC, Federal Deposit Insurance Corporation. The FDIC said it would protect insured deposits up to $250,000 per account but warned that some customers might face delays or losses on their funds. So what are the immediate consequences of SVB's failure? Well, startup founders were locked out of their SVB accounts without access to their funds. Many startups that had ties to SVB were unable to pay their employees, vendors, or creditors as their accounts were frozen or inaccessible. Some startups had to resort to alternative payment methods such as PayPal or cryptocurrency. Investors lose confidence in tech stocks and valuations. The collapse of SVB triggered a sell-off in tech stocks as investors feared a slowdown in innovation and growth. Tech companies that relied on SVB for financing or banking services saw their share prices drop sharply. The Nasdaq Composite Index fell by more than 10% on Friday 24. Regulators launch investigations into SVB's accounting practices and risk management. The SEC, the EFTIC, and other federal agencies launched probes into how SVB managed its assets and liabilities, whether it misled investors and regulators about its financial condition, and whether it engaged in any illegal or unethical activities. The bank also faced lawsuits from shareholders, creditors, and customers who accused it of fraud and negligence 12. Other banks scrambled to fill the gap left by SVB in lending to startups. Some of SVB's competitors such as JP Morgan Chase, Bank of America, Wells Fargo, 
and Goldman Sachs tried to capitalize on the opportunity by offering loans and banking services to startups that were affected by SVB's failure. However, they also faced challenges such as higher risk profiles, lower margins, and stricter regulations than SVB, 